Hello there. Welcome to the United States of America. Right, we don't need him. Hello, welcome to the United States Grand Prix. As you can see, it is absolutely hammering it down. Hope you brought your raincoats with you. And here we have the starting grid. Look at all them pit girls right there. Anyway, that's the starting grid. We have an all Jaguar front row with Eddie Irvine on first, Pedro De La Rosa second, Arrows behind them with French and Ferdinand fourth. Then we have the BIRs behind them with Panis in fifth and Jacques Villeneuve in sixth. The Minardis follow behind them with Mark Webber seventh and Alex Young in eighth place. Then we have the Williams of Ralph Schumacher in ninth place and David Coulthard in tenth. Kimi Raikkonen starts on 11th with Juan Pablo Montoya starting 12th. Then we have the Toyotas right behind them with Alan McNish and Mika Salo 13th and 14th. Massa in 15th with his Sauber teammate Nikait Feld in 16th. Then we have the Renaults right behind them with Jensen Button in 17th outperforming Jano Trulli in 18th. And then we have the Ferraris bringing up the rear with Rubens Barrichello 19th and Michael Schumacher in 20th. Now they're on starter's orders, fire up lights, and then away they go, and it's a fantastic start from the Arrows, but they're blocked by the Jaguars, and then here comes Bernardi coming down the inside of, I don't know who that is, is it Irvine, is it Pedro de Rosa? who knows, and there's Bernardi coming up from the rear in fifth place. Come round to turn three now. Arrows, it is Enrique Bernardi. It's Pedro de la Rosa in the lead. Enrique Bernardi is in second place. Eddie Irvine third. Enrique Bernardi looking down the inside of Pedro de la Rosa, but there is nothing going on there. As Pedro de la Rosa builds up a little bit of a gap now at six tenths. As they come towards the snake section. As we see Jensen Button and Yala Trulli 19th and 20th in last place. Massa in 18th, which means the Ferrari's got a really good start. Michael Schumacher is already up to 17th. Nick Heidfeld is also behind one of the Ferraris. Rubens Barrichello with a fantastic start to end up in 15th place. Alan McNish stays in his 14th place position. With Kimi Raikkonen having a terrible start, he's ended up down in 13th. Behind Mika Salo, who is in 12th place. Ralph Schumacher is in 11th. I think he's gone down as well. Might not have been. Olivier Panis, with his terrible starts as usual, is in 10th place. We have Juan Pablo Montoya ended up in 9th place. David Coufard's in 8th. He's gone up 1 or 2 places. Jack Villeneuve up 1 place after overtaking his teammate. Then we have the Minardis in 6th and 5th with Alex Jung in behind Mark Webber. And it's an absolute monumental gap for the Arrows and Jaguars with Heinz Howard Fenson in fourth place and Eddie Irvine looking to try and get past Enrico Bernardi, but Enrico Bernardi is having none of it. And then way out in front is Pedro De La Rosa with his good year tyres, which are doing wonders in the rain. Two and a half seconds already up on Enrico Bernardi. And then we have a nice uh, camera shot there of Pedro De La Rosa. Who cares about the lead? He's probably going to streak away. You know? Go around the second to last corner. Onto the banking of the Indianapolis circuit. And on towards the pitch straight. Very unique part of the track, rallies. The only banked corner on the circuit. Pedro De Rosa leads, Rico Bernardi second, Irvine third, Heinz Howard Fenton in fourth place. All of them are 5.6 seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Jacques Villeneuve seventh, Coulthard eighth. The statics are going too quickly. Raikkonen's in 13th, Nish is in 14th place, Heifel 15th, Barrichello 16th, Schumacher 17th, Massa 18th, Trulli 19th, and Button is bringing up the rear. And we have a replay here of David Coulthard. On the straight, who looks to have a brake issue, goes straight across the circuit. Oh, what? He's upside down. He's lost. I hope he's okay. But it, that is a monumental accident for David Coulthard. It's 
ended up upside down in the wall. Wheels flying everywhere. And we're back to Pedro De La Rosa, who is streaking away still. Four and a half seconds up from Enrico Bernaldi after two and a half laps. Irvine's having a sniff of Bernaldi, showing him that he is there, but there's nothing doing there. As to go past through the style section, gear one corners all the way. Now they're coming up back to the fast part of the track. This corner is easily flat. So is this next corner. Even in the wet. And that is one of the arrows pitting I just saw there. Heinz Howard Frenson has entered the pits on lap three. And Irvine is having a look at Enrico Bernaldi. Is he going to try? Is he going to do it? He's having a good go. He's at the inside line and he is through. It's a Jaguar 1 2. Eddie Irvine has found a way past Enrico Bernaldi. And now he's just going to streak away from the rest of the field. And that's probably the last we'll see of them Jaguars. He's already got a one second lead over Bernaldi. That is unbelievable. Pedro De Rosa is five seconds ahead of his teammate. There is no way Irvine is going to catch Pedro De Rosa. Especially when they have the, the same car. Same everything. Enrico Bernardi is still out in the pitch. But by the looks of it, the pit crew are going to be getting ready for Enrico Bernardi at the end of this lap. Then we have the Bernardi of Mark Webber in fourth place eight seconds behind Enrique Bernaldi the top four look set with Alex Young in fifth place right behind his teammate and Jack Villeneuve right behind the two Bernardis in sixth place and there was a pass there I just saw on the standings it's Olivier Panis who has just gotten past a car I've forgotten what the car was. It was Juan Pablo Montoya he has passed. But he's now got three and a half seconds to catch up with the Minardis. Juan Pablo Montoya in eighth place with Ralph Schumacher in ninth. As he's looking for his teammate and he's easily passed Juan Pablo Montoya. Has Pablo Montoya got a problem? Kimi Raikkonen is in 10th place. And Enrico Bernardi is entering the pit lane. Very, two very early stops for the Arrows boys. They are one of the first peoples in that I have seen. Into the pit bo that box now. Takes on tyres and fuel. And now we go. It's 9.3 seconds on the stopwatch. Very unique pit lane here. And away he goes. Looks to be rejoining in 10th place. Yes, in between Kimi Raikkonen and Nick Heidfeld. There is Nick Heidfeld in 11th place, all on his own. With Schumacher in 12th, 7 seconds behind the Sauber. And that's Schumacher in 13th. And there is Heinz Howard Frenson. Not being able to fast the Ferraris. This is the trouble with pitting early. You're going to get blocked by all the slow people. And here he is in 14th place. Trying to get past the Ferraris. But the Ferraris are just blocking the way. This is like Iñano truly. Catch up with them. And we have a replay here of Jacques Villeneuve. Stopping on the circuit in the middle of the slow section. Must be a suspension issue. And he is out of the race. It's a shame for the BAR who's running so well. And here is the race leader, Pedro De La Rosa. Leading by five seconds over his Jaguar teammate, Eddie Irvine. Who is a full 18... 
19 seconds now ahead of the Minardis in third and fourth after the arrows pitted for fuel and tyres. Jung is right behind Weber. Trying to look for a pass, but there's no way Jung is going to pass Weber. Oh, here he goes. The young has actually passed Weber on the pitch, on the straight. He has got a much better exit off of the turn seven. And now he's in the snail section. The very slow section. There's Pedro De La Rosa in the lead. Eddie Irvine five seconds back from his Jaguar teammate. And then there is a monumental gap to the Minardis. Here we are waiting still for the Minardis to come past the start finish line to look at the gaps. That is how far ahead the Jaguars are already. It's 29 seconds the gap between Young and De La Rosa. Weber is in fourth, Panis fifth place. And then there's another gap to Juan Pablo Montoya in sixth place. Bernardi is in seventh place, Raikkonen in eighth place. Bernardi has managed to pass Raikkonen at some point of the circuit. Now Bernaldi is chasing down Montoya. Here's Raikkonen, who's just been passed by Bernaldi and losing time to the Arrows driver. As you can see in the camera, there is no person in sight. And Pedro de has already crossed the start-finish line. And you can see cars in front of him that he's going to be lapping soon. That is unbelievable place. There is a car in that wall. There is a car in that wall. It looked like a Williams to me. Or it might be the stricken McLaren of David Coulthard from earlier. But that looked like a Williams. Could also be McLaren of Raikkonen, but who knows? The Jaguar is coming up to lap the Sauber. We not I'm not sure what Sauber this is. It could be Massa. Nope, no indication of who that Sauber was. But he is coming round the fast two corners. And he's entering the pits. He's entering the pits now. Pedro De La Rosa is in the pits. He has that much of a lead. He can probably get out in front of the Minardis. This will of course mean that Eddie Irvine is going to take the lead of the race. Here we are. It's a 7.6 stop. It's a very quick stop from the Jaguar team. There's a car that's gone past. That was a back marker. As you can see, Eddie Irvine is 17 seconds ahead of now of Pedro De La Rosa. And Minardi's are 14 seconds behind Pedro De La Rosa, even after that accident. And yes, that is might be the McLaren of David Coulthard that is in them barriers. Not the Williams. No need to worry there, Daryl. And there's Mark Webber into the pits. He was closely followed by the BAR of Jacques Villeneuve and it's a 7.4 second pit stop for the Minardi team he is out ahead of that BAR oh sorry it's Livio Panis not Jacques Villeneuve as I stated there's the other Minardi oh it's gonna get dicey oh is Young gonna get there yes Young has past Olivier Panis which is going to frustrate the BIA driver even more the BIA driver is so much quicker than the Minardis but there is no opportunity to pass at all 
One Pablo Montoya nine seconds behind these guys who are fighting currently for sixth place. And this is Eddie Irvine coming out of the pit lane in second place. He's gained time over Pedro de Rosa. Bernardi is 23 seconds back from the Jaguars now. And it looks like a foregone conclusion about who will win this race and who will come second. With the Jaguars 20 seconds ahead of the rest of the field. As Eddie Irvine is trying to find a way past the lapped Renaults who are battling away. Is he going to try for here? He is. Is he going to manage? He's got past one Renault. He has gotten past Button, I think. I think that's Button in front of Trulli. And we are on board now with Enrique Binaldi. And looking at that, Mark Webber is in fourth place, which means Heinz Trenton has lost a lot of time being stuck behind them Ferraris. We have not seen where Frenton has emerged from his first pit stop yet. There is Mark Weber in fourth place. With Alex Young who had a look there. He'd certainly had a look, but there was no going there. And again, Panis is just stuck behind these Minardis. No way past around these tight corners of Indianapolis. As they go past the, through the fast corners onto the main circuit through the banked nine degree banking corners of Indianapolis. And there's the gap, 0 0.625 seconds between Panis and Jung. Juan Pablo Montoya in 7th place. Kimi Raikkonen is in 8th place. And there is the arrows behind Raikkonen. He's lost so much time. He's in 9th place. He, he pitted from 4th place. And now he's in ninth. And Pedro de Rosa has already passed the start finish line. They could be coming to lap these guys in the next few laps. That is unbelievable pace there. Eddie Irvine, 8.7 seconds behind Pedro de la Rosa. He must have lost time trying to lap the Renault cars. Renault's. Enrico Bernardi, 30 seconds behind Pedro de la Rosa. 30. And that is... One of the Toyotas in a plume of smoke is that McNish. McNish. It's Alan McNish. He has retired. There is Mika Salo on the track. He's in 11th place. He's pitting. He's pitting from 11th place. And that's a car in front of him as well. It looks like the Arrows has also pitted of Heinz Harold Frenson. Hopefully to get into some clear air that he so desperately needs to try and get past them McLaren and Williams. Is it Williams? Yes, Williams. And it's Mika Salo, 7.6 second stop. And he is away. That should be his final stop. All these cars are usually two stopping. And here, and he's managed to get in front of the slow Ferraris, which would be good news for the Toyota and the Arrows. And there is the last three cars. It's Barrichello in 15th. It is Yano Trulli in 16th and Jensen Button bringing up the rear in 17th. The current cars that have retired are Alan McNish, Jacques Villeneuve and David Couffard who is still parked 
on the circuits. Hoping to get going, I presume. I don't know. Anyway, the Jaguar is in the lead. Pedro De La Rosa still. Seven seconds ahead of his British teammate, Eddie Irvine. As they come to start lap 15 of 24. Looks to be no dramas going on for the Jaguar team. There's Eddie Irvine doing all his best to try and catch Pedro De La Rosa. But the Spaniard is just in another world right now. Enrico no <coughs> Enrico Binaldi coming up to lap the Renaults. Oh, it looks like he's a, one of the Renaults is gone past by the looks of it. No, he's already passed one of the Renaults. It turns out. So it's just neutrally and the other Ferrari he's got to try and pass. It's Alex Young in fourth place. And Mark Webber in fifth, which Alex Young must have passed Mark Webber at some point. And here is the Jaguar, a replay of what one of the Jaguars. One of the Jaguars has span on circuit. One of the Jaguars has span on circuit and is standing still. It's Eddie Irvine. Is he out? Is he out of the race? He's not moving. He's out. Eddie Irvine. I was talking about there being no dramas for Jaguar. Eddie Irvine is out of the American Grand Prix. Absolute scenes here. Bernaldi is trying to get past the Renault and he's not, the Renault's not having any of it. Get out the way. You're being lapped. Enrico Bernardi still stuck behind the Yarno Trulli. But the arrows are getting ready in the pit lane for Bernardi as we cut to Alex Young, who is now inherited third place from Eddie Irvine. Going past the fast corners now on the end of lap 15. We are now two thirds of the way through the race. And there's Enrico Bernardi coming out of the pits. One of the Minard both Minardis have gone past the. It looks like Mark Webber is trying to challenge Alex Young for position. And Enrico Bernardi is going to get stuck behind these Minardis. Which is going to frustrate the Arrows driver. He was trying to so desperately catch up to the Jaguars. But it looks like a foregone conclusion that the Jaguars are going to be first and retired now, not second. It looks like it's a, it's a four man train now developing behind Minardis. There's one Pablo Montoya in sixth place. Holding up the Jaguar, who is in the lead. That's how far the Jaguar has lapped. He's now going past Juan Pablo Montoya. And it is Kimi Raikkonen in seventh place. As the Jaguar has passed Montoya now. He has a little bit of clear air now. It's Nick Heitfeld in eighth place, but the Sauber guys are getting ready in the pits. For one of their drivers. And Frenson is in ninth place after he has already pitted. Six seconds behind Heitfeld. So by the looks of it, he might jump the McLaren and the Williams. And he was stuck behind for all them laps. And it is, it's Nick Heitfeld who is pitting for Salva. Getting slowed down for the pit limiter. And in he goes. He's turning into his pit box. There's a pitter in front of him that might be the Jaguar of Pedro de la Rosa. It's 
standings now it's Pedro de la Rosa in the lead and the long now white for second place this is the sole remaining Toyota of Mika Salo in 10th place stuck behind the Williams of Ralph Schumacher in ninth place there is Heinz Harold Frenson in eighth place Panis in seventh place he's got a little bit clearer now he is pitted Kimi Raikkonen sixth place at the moment fifth place currently is Juan Pablo Montoya but the Williams are getting ready to service him now Raikkonen is following him into the pits. You saw there Jaguar has a 47 second lead over the rest of the field. Who is going to emerge out on top of these two teams? They come out exactly the same time, both of them with 8 second pit stops. So it's all to resume, resume then for Juan Pablo Montoya and Kimi Raikkonen. Where are, they going, where are they going to emerge? Can't see what them cars are in the distance. They're in 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th. There's Schumacher is in 7th right behind them. And Heitzer and Frenson has managed to jump them for 6th place. And there's Alessandro Trenton already lapped by the Jaguar. Who is in another dimension. He's in a different postcode than the rest of the field. And here's Mark Webber going into the pits for his second and final stop. He was following the Ferrari in. Bernardi has inherited second place back. And Bernardi stopped! Bernardi has stopped. There's a spin in sector one. Watch for the yellow flag. Must be a suspension failure. But Bernardi is out of the race. Sector one is now green. Which means that Mark it's Webber, Bernardi, of all people, is in second place. Also means that Pedro de la Rosa has a chance to lap the entire field. Which is crazy. Absolute drama going on here. We've already had one of the top runners in ja of Jaguars, Eddie Irvine, go out. And now we've got Enrique Bernardi out of the race. So we have a Minardi second and third currently. With Mark Webber in second and Alex Young in third place. Pan is still behind the Minardis, trying to get past them. With Frenson in fourth, fifth place currently. With what looks to be five laps to go for these guys. Here is Frenson. Six seconds behind Panis. Can he catch up? It's Juan Pablo Montoya in sixth place. With Raikkonen breathing down his neck all race. 7th place, sorry, for Kimi Raikkonen. And there is Ralph Schumacher in 8th. And there is the Toyota of Mika Salo trying to pass Ralph Schumacher. With Nick Heitfeld in 10th place in the final scoring position. And Felipe Massa in 11th place. Here's Michael Schumacher. 12th place for the Ferrari. Mark Rubens Barrichello is in 13th place. Jano Trulli, 14th. And Jensen Button, 15th place and last of the remaining drivers. And here's Pedro de Rosa trying to lap the BAR of Olivier Panis. He's coming up to, this is second, third and third fourth that is how much of a lead this Jaguar driver has as he's going past Olivier Panis is he oh it's getting tight 
Oh, the Dragon is pushing the BAR along. And he's managed to get past Olivier Panis. To go across the brick yard. Pedro De La Rosa, one minute, 13 seconds ahead of Mark Webber, who is in second place. And Mark Webber is in trouble. You just saw it there, Mark Webber's in trouble. He must, he's stuck in first gear, he can't find any other gear. And there goes past Alex Young and the Jaguar. It's absolute drama here. And the BAR, BAR got stuck behind Young and Bernardi, is, not Bernardi, Frenton has just driven right past both of them. That's not going to please Panis. Panis blocked by the very slow Mark Webber and Frenton has just driven straight past both of them for third place. But now another top runner, Mark Webber, is, is retiring from the Grand Prix. And it's high Tower Frenson, who has now inherited third place. And now Pedro De La Rosa has actually lapped the entire field in 23 laps. An unbelievable drive from the Jaguar. I don't think we have seen anyone be lapped. The entire field be lapped before in any of these races. That's Alex Young. Second place for the Minardi. It's going to be an excellent result for the Minardi. Heinz Howard friends in the sole remaining arrows. Coming up to lapped traffic of the Renaults and the Ferrari. Jaguar has already passed all three of them. And the arrows team is getting ready for a pit stop. The arrows team is getting ready for a pit stop. Looks like Hans Howard Frenson has not got enough fuel to finish the race. And he's having to pit from third place. There's absolute drama. Michael Schumacher's in 11th. Trudy in 12th. Barrichello 13th. And Bud is in 14th. What are the... There's Frenson coming out of the pits. He's in 6th place now. He's lost position to the, two, to the Williams and the McLaren. Absolute drama. We thought that, that, that no one had to do another pit stop. But the Arrows has had to pit for the, one of the final times. And this is Kimi Raikkonen now inheriting fifth place. Montoya, fourth place. Which means Olivier Panis, after all his troubles with being blocked by Bernardi, is actually going to come home and get third place. They are past the Renault. It's Alex Young and Pedro De La Rosa has finished the race in first place. Alex Young has finished, in Young has finished second. Of course, being lapped. He doesn't get to complete his final lap, which means it's over for him. There is the race winner, Pedro De La Rosa. <coughs> Pedro De La Rosa, the race winner of the American Grand Prix, doing his lap of honour. We could, we presume Olivier Panis is coming third. Juan Pablo Montoya is finished in fourth. Q 
Kimi Raikkonen finishes with fifth. Frenson in sixth. Ocon finishes with seventh. Sainz finishes with eighth. Unclassified results currently. As the standings ain't coming up on that board. And here, Pedro De La Rosa. Back into the pits to celebrate the, that impressive race victory with his team. Unfortunately, it couldn't be a Jaguar 1-2 with Eddie Irvine retiring from the race. And here is the final results. Pedro De Rosa wins by a lap. Alex Young second. Olivier Panis finishes in third to round off the podium. Juan Pablo Montoya finishes in fourth place. With Kimi Raikkonen in fifth. Heinz Howard Frenson finishing in sixth place after that final lap pit stop. Ralph Schumacher finishes in seventh place, which is a good result for Williams, the highest place team standing of all the teams Nick Heifeld finishes in 8th place with Felipe Massa in ninth. a good result for Salvo who have been having reliability troubles note to mention that Mika Salo also had a final lap pit stop that was unreported and has finished in 10th place which is still a point for Toyota Outside the points, we have Michael Schumacher in 11th place. Jano Trulli finishes in 12th place and ahead of the Ferrari of Rubens Barrichello. 14th place and the last remaining runner was Jensen Button. And now the long list, list of retirements. Starting with Mark Webber who had gearbox issues. Enrico Bernaldi's engine failed. Eddie Irvine had brake issues, span and retired on the spot. Alan McNish, suspension failure reported by the Englishman. Scotsman, not Englishman, Scotsman. Jacques Villeneuve, uh, no, Jack Villeneuve had a suspension issue. Alan McNish retired in the plume of smoke. And David Coulthard, the last remaining person with a spectacular accident. That was the American Grand Prix. Thank you for watching and see you next time.